we're asked to find vertical asymptotes of these two trig functions. And the big secret to this one is to realize that cotangent is cosine over sine. Okay. Uh, tangent is the same thing as sine over cosine. And you could show that by thinking about the opposite of the hypotenuse divided by the opposite over the, adja uh, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. That makes opposite over adjacent when you do that fraction workout. Okay. Uh, oops, I was talking about cosine when I wrote that. This is cotangent, the reciprocal. So cotangent is cosine over sine. Okay, so if you haven't seen that before, remember, tangent is sine over cosine. Cotangent, just the reciprocal. So that's the first step for this problem. Now, vertical asymptotes happen where you have divide by zero errors. Okay, And a quick way of finding out when sine is zero is to think about the unit circle. Sine represents all the y-coordinates on the unit circle. So if you start at zero degrees, this y-coordinate is zero, right? So x equals zero would cause a divide by zero error, and thus a vertical asymptote for this graph, okay? If you keep rotating, this is uh, this point that we reach is zero comma one, so sine would be one here. That's not a vertical asymptote. Keep rotating, and then here we have negative one comma zero on the unit circle because it's a radius of zero, a uh, radius of one, I should say. So the y coordinate is zero. So at pi, we have another vertical asymptote. And look, as you keep rotating, as you keep talking about bigger and bigger angles, you're going to get more. So the infinite amount of vertical asymptotes would be uh, zero plus or minus two pi times k where k is an integer. It depends on the teacher, though. Sometimes this matters, sometimes this doesn't. Like for my class, I, I'm usually just concerned with students getting these two. But this is how you express the infinite amount because it's sinusoidal, right? Uh, the sine wave keeps going up and down like this, and there's an infinite amount of times where the sine wave is going to be zero. <clears throat> so to express all the, all the zeros, this is how you'd write the infinite amount for this one. And then the other one would be pi plus or minus 2 pi k, where k is, a, an, is an integer. That's what the z means. Okay, so for other people online, this is the infinite amount that your teachers probably said before. For my classes, this is usually all you're concerned with, so just finding the first two. Those are vertical asymptotes. And we're asked to describe uh, the behavior to the left and the right of the asymptotes. Uh, that's where we'll use a graphing calculator. Um, I think I got a student's thing. There we go. Okay, let's go to desmos.com slash calculator. Here's a graph of cotangent of x. And then here's that vertical asymptote at x equals zero, right? So the behavior to the left means think about numbers that are slightly less than zero. This thing is going towards negative infinity. So on the the, the behavior behavior to the left of the x equals zero vertical asymptote, it's approaching negative infinity. And the behavior on the right the y values keep going up, so it's approaching positive infinity. So on the left of each of these vertical asymptotes, it's approaching negative infinity. And on the right, the uh, limits are approaching positive infinity. <clears throat> okay, we'll, we want to do the same thing over here, but this one's a little bit more complicated because this is tangent divided by sine. You could rewrite this algebraically a bit. Tangent is sine over cosine, like we just said, right? And that's all being divided by sine. And that can be simplified before you start trying to evaluate the vertical asymptotes. Remember with uh, with like rational functions, when you have like an x squared plus 2x plus 1, you try to factor the numerator and the denominator first to see if anything cancels out. We can do the same thing here, okay? we It's not factoring, but we can make something cancel out. Look how I'm rewriting it. Same thing, right? This this line is a division symbol, so I rewrote it with this division symbol. And then you would flip and multiply. Actually, it's not going to... Yeah. No, this, this is important. Because we do have to make that sine cancel out. So you get 1 over cosine. So instead of finding out um, every time sine is going to be 0, you want to find out every time cosine is going to be 0, because that would cause a vertical asymptote. So this function simplifies to be this down here. So that's what you really want to analyze. When is cosine zero? And remember, cosine is the uh, x-coordinates in the unit circle. 
So this right here is uh, the point one comma zero. So that means cosine is one here for an angle of zero degrees. So when we get to 90 degrees, in other words, pi over two, the x coordinate is zero. So therefore, cosine is zero. So our zeros are pi over two. And then the next one we get to, this is where cosine would be negative one. So that's not a divide by zero problem because that's negative one comma zero as a point. And then this would also be another place with the x, x coordinate is zero. So three pi over two, 270 degrees. That's another place where cosine would be zero. So those two places are where it equals zero. So those are divided by zero problems. And if you want the infinite amount of solutions, you just have to add this full rotation plus two pi k. But these are the first two zeros. And then to check the behavior to the left and the right, you just want to graph that. That's the same thing as secant, right? The reciprocal. So one over cosine, you could just type in the secant if you want. Um, so our first one was x x equals pi over 2 for a vertical asymptote. The behavior approaching it from the left is positive infinity. And approaching from the right, it's going to negative infinity. And you'll see the same thing with the other vertical asymptote. Oh, sorry. From the left, it's actually negative infinity. I spoke too soon. So here's our other vertical asymptote. As you approach it from the left, it's negative infinity. As you approach it from the right, it's positive infinity. So this one, they're, they're different. The behavior from the left and the right are different from one another.